And that's not even half the story. Everything that this guy's been told that he thought was protecting him in his music career was actually the exact things that was keeping him from having a career to begin with. So I just came from a relatively heated conversation with someone that I consider a friend. And I thought, why not make a YouTube video while I'm in the heat of the moment? So you know how we have to start this thing in three, two, one. What's going on guys? Adam Ivy, sellmusic.com here to help you go further faster in your music career by sharing proven marketing tips and strategies that are gonna help you take that passion for making music and transform it into a legitimate business that's gonna provide you with freedom and fulfillment. Now, what am I talking about? Well, I recently, very recently, had a conversation with someone who's like an acquaintance, kind of a friend of mine, and we were talking about what was holding us back from a music career right? What was holding him back in particular. Now, something that he had brought up is that everybody was out to scam him. All these different promo companies, all these different mentors, me included, were out to get a dollar. Now, we had been having conversations like this for a long time. I've known this individual for at least three or four years. Now, one thing that's been holding him back that I couldn't hold my tongue about anymore was the fact that he's a cynical person that's skeptical of just about everything. Even when I offer to give him free advice, he thinks that there's a side, like a side door. What's the angle? What's your angle? What do you want? I know that, you know, this might have worked for every other person that you've ever talked to, but you know, what, what's, it, what's in it for you? Now, this video is not going to be about that conversation in particular. It's about the type of person that this individual who will remain nameless is. And I have a feeling that a few of you out there are just like this guy. Now, there's a couple things that are going to hold you back in life. There's going to be a couple things that get you further ahead in life. I recently saw a quote that said, being broke is hard, but being rich is hard too. You got to pick which one you want to go after and then go after it. And that's a lot of the problem with you guys in getting somewhere in your music career is you don't know what to go for, right? You kind of float in this little purgatory, if you're Catholic, of success, failure, disappointment, achievement. So many of us have gone for the music career, have pursued it, have pushed, have given all of our fucking energy to something that everyone told us we couldn't do. And guess what happens? We learn, we grow, we evolve. And I'll tell you one thing, those who are too cynical, those who are too skeptical, will never really experience either one because you, they're holding themselves back. Now, I wanna make sure that you guys have a very clear understanding about the differences between being a cynic, a cynical person, and a skeptical person, because there's pros and cons. But a cynical person sees the world through their own eyes, through their own scope, and everything should work, and everything should operate, and people should act the way they think that they should act. They're ultimate control freak. The world should work this way. People should talk to me this way. That's not how it works. That's not what a civilization is. We're, we're a bunch of people with all of our different ideals, all of our different self-beliefs, or our beliefs, religious beliefs, beliefs on economics, beliefs on religion, like all of that good stuff. And not, this video is not about to be political, but I'm sick and fucking tired of people making excuses. I'm sick and fucking tired of people being cynical and skeptical and thinking that everything is out to get them. Everything's holding them back. Can't stand it. There's a difference between being safe and blaming the world for your downfall, blaming the world for your obstacles, blaming the world for the lack of progress that you are holding yourself back from. If you see something that seems too good to be true, don't just automatically jump and say, that's a scam, because a lot of you guys do. We live in an ADD world where if something gets our attention for two minutes, we're doing pretty good on the other side of that coin. Now, there's so many different bullshit programs. There's so many different varying opinions. Even me, I'm just an opinionated asshole that has 10 years uh, marketing and music experience. As I say in my videos, I'm a marketing specialist who niches in music because I have that experience as well. I'm not a music producer that is coming out with these marketing strategies and stuff off the top of my head. The, the theory, this should work. I think I heard somebody make some money off this at one point. I read a blog article in 2012, should still work, right? No. And that's something you have to ask yourself. That's where the skeptical side of things is beneficial. What are they saying? Does it apply to me? Is there some validity in this? The cynical person says, yeah, if only it was that easy. Pff, yeah, must be nice to have that type of success. That would never work for me. Pff, yeah, that must be a rental car. Bet you he doesn't even own that house. I bet you that belt is fake. I got the belt from Target. It's, it's real. It's a real belt. Sorry. Sorry. I just think these people are funny. 
Because you see these people, and I know some of these people. Some of these people are my friends because they have a good heart, but they blame the rest of the world for their downfall. Oh, it must be nice. How, how could I ever make that type of progress? Doing that is so expensive. I don't have rich parents. If only I win the lottery. You get what I'm saying? And that's just like an overall value system, right? I talked about it in a recent video, actually not so recent, but a, a past video about the struggle creators and the hustle creators. Those who are constantly living in that struggle artist mindset, that, you know, independent grind, got to grind every day, it's hard out here. And then there's people that are like, okay, there's obstacles. I'm going to tackle those obstacles and I'm going to get past those obstacles. I'm going to surpass anything that's ever put in front of me because that's the only path. There's a book out there called The Obstacle is the Way. Um, I'll have a link for it in the description box below. And in fact, um, if you guys are interested in reading The Obstacle is the Way, great book, uh, and you don't want to read it and you just have more time mowing the lawn or driving, I'll have a link up on the screen right now where you can get a free 30-day uh, trial to Audible where you get a free book. There's no obligation. Just go to audibletrial.com slash Adam Ivey. Um, I do get a little, little teeny tiny affiliate income, but uh, you're not paying for a book. So what does it matter? They're paying me, not you. Now, I only pitch that because I don't like reading books, actually. I have a whole bookshelf that I kind of limp through, but I actually enjoy listening to them. Anyway, getting off subject here. What I want you guys to understand is that, sure, you should question things, right? You shouldn't go into everything naively and blindly. But once those questions are stacking up to the point where everything is a negative angle, everything is holding you back, I don't have the time. I'm not that kind of person. You know, that wouldn't be right for me. That They only got success because... You know how many times I've heard that in my comments? Well, it must be nice having a great smile. It must be nice being good on camera. Well, I can't afford a camera. And I'm using that tone, that, that cadence, because this is how some of you guys talk in my comment section. And I'm trying to fix you. I'm trying to take that negative mindset, that cynical, toxic, polluted mindset and out, out view or overview of the world. We have to reprogram that if you want to find any success. Because either you could be a troll and doubt everything and never do anything. Or you could be cautious and go into things with drive, determination. And you know what? Let's say that you do something that you're not comfortable with. Let's say that you sign up for a program and you're very introverted, such as myself. And you're like, you know what? For instance, here's a good example. I want to go to an improv class. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm a you know goofy type of guy. And I want to go with one of my best friends. We're both kind of goofy guys, and I think it'd be a lot of fun, but that's scary to me. In my head, my self-doubt might say, well, I might not be very good. I might think I'm funny, but they're going to think, you know, fill in the blank. I've had people say, well, you know, that's a lot of money just to make some stuff up with a group of people. You could do that outside of there. You do that at functions. You do that at parties, at events. You make everybody laugh, whatever. Yeah, but that's not the thing. If you let people talk you out of things so easily that you're never willing to jump in with both feet, who the fuck are you? Answer me that. Do you know? I'm waiting. Let me know in the comments below. Are you a cynical person? Are you a recovering cynic? Are you skeptical? Are you overly naive? Have you been scammed? Have you been in a situation where you put trust into something and then you got the results or you learned a valuable lesson that didn't hurt you? The thing is, something's only holding you back if you don't make any progress. Even if you take five steps forward and you have a negative experience that still leaves you one step ahead as far as knowledge, understanding, experience, I say, I'd say that's pretty pretty good. Because you're never going to make it in the music career. You're never going to make it in the music industry with the music career. You're never going to make it in any entrepreneurial venture if you're, if you're too big of a pussy to hear a no once in a while, to get disappointed once in a while, to, and I'm sorry for using the, the P word. I, I'm just passionate about this, guys. Like, sometimes I give myself goosebumps, which is weird, but... I know that this is connecting with you guys. That's why I'm looking you right in the eyes right now. I don't want you guys to hold yourself back. I want you to believe in yourself. I want you to look at the paths that you have. And I want you to go after those opportunities. And I want you to go after those opportunities with a little caution. But I want you to go into those opportunities with more confidence, with more vision, of a, a clarity and vision than you ever have before. Even if on the inside you're shitting your pants. Not literally but you get what I'm saying. You have to be brave in order to succeed. You have to be brave in order to meet new people, to step outside of your comfort zone, public speak, put your music and your beats out there for the first time ever. 
Open yourself up to critiques. Open yourself up to hate. Open yourself up to feedback. Because if you're too big of a, a scaredy cat to be politically correct, you're never going to do anything. No one has ever made a name for themselves, build a legacy, become rich off of being a coward, hiding in the shadows, and being too afraid to try. So stop calling everything you see a scam. Stop saying only the lucky are going to succeed. And stop saying that you have to have all these things handed to you on a silver platter in order to see progress. Because if I could do it, you sure as fuck can do it as well. Now I'm going to have a video off to my left side here. One second. We can't be dealing with the screensaver, baby. I'm going to have a video off to my left-hand side right here. If you want to connect with me over on Instagram, I'd love that. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. My birthday's coming up and I'm almost at 100K. I need your guys' help. Channel family, help me out. Click on that little subscribe button, including the bell icon, so you can be notified first anytime I upload a video just like this. And as always, all my contact information will be in the description box below. I want to hear from you. Leave a comment.